we want to continue looking at relative density. In our previous lessons, we started our discussion on relative density. In this lesson, we are looking at how to determine the relative density of a powdered substance insoluble in water. In our previous lesson, we saw how to determine the relative density of a powdered substance soluble in water. And one important point we made was that if the substance is soluble in water, then we need another liquid which will not dissolve the powdered substance. Good. So, let's first look on the screen and you see the diagrams we have on the screen. We take a careful look at those diagrams after which we describe how to carry out this experiment in our laboratory. If you study the diagram carefully, first we have an empty bottle or what you describe as density bottle. The next, we fill the bottle with a powdered substance. So, first, once we have our empty bottle, we measure and take the mass of the bottle. We pour the substance in our bottle and we find the mass of the bottle plus the powder substance. The next is to add water onto the substance in the bottle. We find the mass there also. Then we take an empty bottle and fill it with water to the brim. Let's go through the method. The empty bottle is weighed to obtain the mass. By now we know we can use a weighing balance to do this. The bottle is then filled with a powdered substance to about one third full. And the stopper is fixed and the total mass is obtained. 